you can then decide whether treatment is indicated. And if so, fortunately, we have a number of options. There are the injectable intramuscular forms of testosterone that have been around for decades. We also have testosterone patches. And now there are gel applications. The latter allows very refined titration of testosterone levels so that you can adjust the dose, and it does vary on an individual basis. You have to be cautious about potential transmission to partners or children, and you should always assess potential risk factors before starting therapy. Has the patient had prostate cancer, which is a contraindication, and patients should be assessed for possible prostate cancer before starting therapy. Testosterone is known to raise hemoglobin levels, and it may be associated with increased cardiovascular risk. But for the right patients who are hypogonadal and symptomatic, uh, most will see a benefit from testosterone therapy.